Welcome to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in Boulder, Colorado. My name is Craig. I'm a meteorologist with Ceres working at NOAA Boulder, and I'll be guiding you on this tour. The NOAA building in Boulder actually has two offices of the National Weather Service. The first office is the one that predicts weather for part of Colorado. The other office is a special one called the Space Weather Prediction Center, or SWPSI. This office also has forecasters. They predict space weather for all of the United States. Do space weather forecasters also work all day? Yes, the Space Weather Prediction Center is also open every hour of the day and every day of the year. The forecasters just work part of the day and take turns working days or nights. What is space weather? Space weather events all come from the sun. There are many types of space weather events. However, three space weather related storms are the most important to look out for. Solar flares, geomagnetic storms, and radiation storms. Strong magnetic fields may reveal themselves visibly as sunspots. When these magnetic fields become too stressed, they may instantly reconnect into less stressful alignments that cause sudden bursts of enormous amounts of electromagnetic energy known as solar flares. Geomagnetic storms are disturbances in Earth's magnetic field usually caused by dramatic changes in the amount of particles and plasma coming from the sun, called the solar wind. The more intense geomagnetic storms are usually a result of explosive releases of billions of tons of solar material into space, called a coronal mass ejection, or CME. CMEs can reach Earth in as quick as 18 hours, but they usually arrive in two to four days. Radiation storms may take place when highly energetic protons suddenly move very fast along magnetic field lines stretching out from the sun into space. These storms happen in association with solar flares and CMEs and can reach Earth in about 20 minutes. Are space weather events always happening? Space weather events can happen at any time, but sometimes they are more likely to happen. There are times when the sun's magnetic field is more chaotic, more likely to bend, twist, and break apart. At these times, we see more space weather events. There are also times when the sun's magnetic field is more stable, and we do not see as many space weather events. This cycle between a lot of activity and less activity is called the solar cycle. It is about 11 years in length. Is space weather dangerous? Most of us never notice space weather events because we are very well protected by our atmosphere and magnetosphere. The biggest health worry in a space weather event is for astronauts during a radiation storm. Luckily, astronauts can protect themselves when they get a warning from forecasters. So why does SWPSI forecast space weather? Because these types of space weather storms may impact our navigation technologies, radio communication, satellites, aviation and spaceflight, and potentially the electric power grid. Here are some examples. GPS can become less accurate. Satellites can be bombarded with ions and electronics leading to potential trouble. Certain radio bands can experience blackout conditions, making communication difficult or impossible for pilots and emergency workers. Even the power grid could become overwhelmed due to a sudden increase in current caused by the rare, most extreme geomagnetic storms. However, with warnings from SWPSI, the people affected by space weather can be prepared, and they will have less problems. Who do forecasters talk to? SWPSI forecasters talk to NASA, 
the FAA, people who operate satellites, FEMA, power companies all over the United States, space weather forecasters from other countries, and sometimes even pigeon racers. Can we see space weather? There is one way you might see space weather in action. That is by the appearance of the aurora, the dancing, shimmering curtains of light in the night sky. The aurora appears when geomagnetic storms are strong. These lights are most visible at night near the poles and can happen when solar particles interact with gases in our atmosphere in just the right way. You can learn more about space weather and see forecasts at spaceweather.gov. Take a look around our outreach pages to learn more about all we have to offer. Have a good day and stay curious.